Okay, in this video, we will be talking about how to set up and configure heavy forwarder. Okay, so if you remember from my previous video, we talked about different forwarder topologies, right? And while discussing that, we also discussed about heavy forwarder, right? So we'll see how to set it up. And while we discussing that heavy forwarder, we discussed that like heavy forwarder is a full fledged Splunk instance, right? Which will be acting as a forwarder. So to set it up, what I have done is over here is if you see, if you remember, Previously, we created this Splunk forwarder one instance, right? So currently I have stopped it. Now we also created this Splunk receiver instance, right? Which is a full fledged Splunk um, installation. So currently I have started it as well. Now also I created another instance, which is similar to this instance as well. That means I have installed a full stack Splunk over there as well. So this particular instance will be working as a heavy forwarder now okay we'll see how to set it up now if you have not seen the previous videos where i have discussed how to set up the full fledged spunk maybe you can check out that video i'll be giving that video link as well in this particular video okay so now to start this one okay so this is our external ip right for so the dot 86 will be our heavy forwarder and dot 82 will be our splunk receiver right so i have just constructed this url how to access them so as both of them has ui because both of them are full-fledged splunk right so we can access it from the ui itself so let us access the heavy forwarder first okay so in the first tab we will be accessing our heavy forwarder so while setting up heavy forwarder i have created this admin user id and password as well okay so i'll be logging in with that even i have discussed the same thing in in my previous video as well how to set up the user id and password okay so this is our heavy forwarder instance in the next tab what we'll do is we will access this receiver okay so similar way so now if you remember when we talked about this universal forwarder right so we have configured this receiver to receive at the port 3997 right so if i just show you go to settings forwarding and receiving okay and then configure receiving if you remember we configured this triple nine seven port right so currently it is enabled as well okay so our heavy forwarder will be sending the tcp packet to the same port itself okay so that means it will the by default it will be indexed to our main index so if i just show you before in our receiver this is 82 that means our receiver so if i just show you index equals to main for all time so currently it is has 52 events and if i just see the host all events came from our forwarder one instance right so when our heavy forwarder will start start sending the data to this instance there will be another host added to it over here with our heavy forwarder name heavy forwarder one right so that is our objective over here so now let us go to our heavy forwarder okay so this is how we configure a heavy forwarder we make basically a splunk instance full spread splunk instance to a heavy forwarder we'll go to settings we'll go to forwarding and receiving okay if you see over here when we talked about splunk receiver we worked on this receive data part right now when we will talk about heavy forwarder setup we will be working on this forward data part okay so there is an option called configure forwarding I'll click over there. I'll say new forwarding host. Okay. Now my host is this guy over here, or 82. That means our Splunk receiver. I'll copy that IP address. I'll paste it over here. Then I have to give colon the port number where it is listening. Now the port number is triple nine seven, as we have seen just now. Triple nine seven. Okay. Save. 
now we have just configured the forwarder now whenever we configure it forwarder right so by default it creates the outputs.conf let us check it out we'll log into our heavy forwarder it may take some time so i'll just pause this video and come back okay we logged in i'll just clear the console now for as we as you have seen in my previous video this outputs.conf by default created in system local so we'll go to first we will sudo sudo su okay we'll log in as a root then we'll go to cd slash opt slash plunk etc system local folder okay, check it out okay so if you see there is a outputs.conf created just now right so if i just give ls minus lrt so this outputs.conf has been created right so let us see the content of the outputs.conf vi outputs.conf so if you see so it, it as we as you have seen previously it should be creating three stanzas over here right tcp out then tcp out this default group name then in that group name there will be a configuration called server with the server ip that means our receiver ip and the port number over here right so this is our outputs now as we have seen previously as well for universal forwarder we configured a inputs.conf right which was basically looking into monitoring the slash word slash log directory right we'll be doing the same thing over here right so for that we'll go to our splunk home bin folder slash opt slash splunk bin we'll run a command if you remember the same command splunk add monitor slash for slash log right so okay yet we have to give the admin username and password over here so this will be creating a inputs.conf in the search app if you remember from my previous video so we'll go to search app to check it out splunk etc apps search if i just go to local folder local if i give ls so there is a inputs.conf created right over here so if i just vi it so if you see it is just created a monitor stanza with the particular directory right so that means currently it is monitoring that directory and we also set it up this particular this is 82 that means our this is our this is our receiver right so and this is 86 so this is our forwarder where we have also created a forwarding forwarding capabilities over here that means ideally this forwarder instance should be forwarding the data to our our receiver instance only so if i just run this search again now if you see there are two hosts are coming up over here some of the events from the forwarder heavy forwarder one is now showing up in my instance okay so and also if you remember for this particular receiver instance we created a rule right we created a firewall rule so that it can accept the it can accept the tcp uh, data at the port 997 so we don't need to do again and again because that is this this particular rule has been applied to this instance as well if you see splunk receiver right so that means from any any other instance and as we have given this ip ranges right so that means for any other instance if it is trying to send data to this particular receiver at the port 997 this this particular instance will be able to accept that data packet and, and index it okay so so this is how a typical forwarder installation and configuration works now there is another setting that i just wanted to show you over here if i just go to settings forwarding and receiving over here okay so there is a forwarding defaults over here okay it is saying store a local local copy of the forwarded events okay we will see in next few videos we will talk about 
different advanced com combination which involves this heavy forwarder just like routing and and filtering the data okay storing this local copy of the forwarded events we'll see how to do that one one by one okay so so as i said in next few videos we'll explore more topics on heavy forwarder and universal forwarder maybe it, it will be involved if you remember whenever we when we discussed about the different forwarder deployment topologies right so we will we'll see one by one how to how to achieve that then after that we'll move to some more advanced topics like our deployment server and and other stuff okay so see you in next video